Today I'm tasting cherry and osmanthus chocolate for the first time. And I should say that osmanthus is one of my favorite materials in perfumery. And I actually found this chocolate by a local chocolate maker called Cha Cha Latte um, at a farmer's market that was just happening right beside my place. And it was a more expensive bar because it was $20 and I, I believe the other ones were a little bit less, but this one was more expensive, which likely is because of the osmanthus, which happens to be more expensive material. And if this is the first time you're hearing about osmanthus, it looks like this. It's a beautiful little flower that grows in China, Taiwan, and Japan. And we describe the scent as being sweet, fruity, apricot-like, slightly peachy. It's also rich and intense, and it's often, um, I hate using the word, but it's often described as a scent that is quite unisex. Um, there's also a little leathery aspect to it, and I also describe it as a little bit jammy. And the first time I actually experienced the scent was when I was taking my course with the Grasse Institute of Perfumery, where we actually had a sample of Rare Absolute, which is absolutely expensive. And just let me refresh my nose before I taste the chocolate. So here's my little rare sample. All right. And yep, really, really jammy. There's that leathery quality that I recognize of it. And that sticky stone fruit, you know, like the, the, the middle of a, of a dried fruit like apricots. All right, let's taste the chocolate. Check out this packaging. Oh, look how cute this is. Little diamonds. Let's take a bite. Mmm, that's really different. So, it says at the back that you'll first taste the red fruits, then the sweetness and tart tartness of single farm BC cherries and then a palate enveloping sweetness and candy-like floralness from these incredible golden asmanthus petals. I can really taste that. This tastes really, really different. Like the aftertaste is, tastes very floral, but not in a, you know, lavender or, or a rose uh, direction, which is something that we see quite often. Okay, now it's evolving to really a, a tea flavor, a floral tea flavor. That is really, really good. It's in the way that it evolves that is really particular. Um, I think it's really, really, really well described because of the way it coats your mouth with this tea-like um, floral sensation. And it evolves into like a woodiness at the back of the throat, which is quite pleasant. So if you're into chocolate and origin chocolates, you might want to check a Cha Cha Latte out. They have a whole other bunch of chocolates that I haven't checked out yet. This one was the one that stuck out for me because there's osmanthus in it. And um, I don't often have the chance to experience things with osmanthus. I didn't even try osmanthus tea, which is probably what I'm going to do next. So it's been a few minutes now and I could still taste the floral richness in my mouth. And it doesn't taste perfumey. It really tastes uh, fruity and slightly floral. Yeah, check it out. Do you know what I didn't even notice? Like the osmanthus is right there at the back. Um, it's actually osmanthus tea. So um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't even notice. So cha-cha latte, check them out.